Sweet Sandia. My name is Aira and today we're going to kick off the holiday season by making you some coquito cookies. Yes, you heard right, coquito cookies. Here are the ingredients we're going to be using today. Okay, so here I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. This tiny little thing over here is two teaspoons of cream of tartar. In here I have one teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to be using two sticks of butter, unsalted, one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Here I have two eggs, and in this little thing here, I have half a teaspoon of vanilla. This is my own homemade vanilla. And I have half a teaspoon of rum extract. This is an emulsion. This has no alcohol, but you can find rum extract at the supermarket and I also use coconut emulsion, half a teaspoon of each. Here I have a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of um, ground nutmeg. This is all you need for the coquito cookies. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place the two and a half cups of the all-purpose flour the two teaspoons of the cream or tartar and the salt and the baking soda. We're all just going to stir this in. Make it noisy today. And we're just going to stir it well in. And we're going to set it to the side and we're going to continue with the butter. Okay, so in a large bowl you're going to place the two, two sticks of butter and they are room temperature so they're nice and soft the one and a half cups of granulated sugar and we're going to add our extracts and we're just going to beat this for three to four minutes until it's nice and fluffy I'm using just a regular hand mixer okay so after four minutes this is what you get <clears throat> See how nice and pretty and fluffy it is? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add one egg. And we're going to beat it in. Then we're going to add, add the other egg. Okay, so now the two eggs are incorporated and this is what you have right now. And it smells amazing. It smells like coquito. But you were wondering what that um, sugar and cinnamon after these cook, after I make the batter, the dough, we're going to make little balls and we're going to roll it in that cinnamon sugar with nutmeg and then we're going to bake them. So now what we're going to do is, remember the flour mixture we had? We're going to add a third of it and we're going to beat it in, then we're going to in three parts. So this is the first addition. Okay, so our, our dough, our cookie dough is ready. See how nice it came together? So now this is a very important step that, step that we have to do. We are going to cover this with plastic wrap and you're going to put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. It can stay up to two days just wrapped, tightly wrapped in the fridge. But it is very important for the cookie, when we're going to roll out the cookies, it's important for this dough to be nice and firm and very cold. So, I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'll be back when it's time to roll the cookies. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and all I did with this is I just mixed it around. And this is our cinnamon sugar. I have here a tablespoon little ice cream scooper. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop and then drag it to the side. So, I have all the cookies are going to be even. I'm going to place it in my hand going to roll it into a little ball and then I'm just going to roll it in the sugar. See how simple this is? And you're going to have coquito cookies. They're so awesome. And we're going to place them. This is a parchment lined cookie sheet. We're going to place them about two inches apart. So let me show you another one. We scrape off the excess we make it into a little ball and now is a good time to preheat your oven to 400 degrees 
These cookies are going to bake from 8 to 10 minutes, but at the 8 minute mark, check them and make sure. See how beautiful? Remember, about 2 inches apart because they will spread out. Scrape it. And then you just roll it in the sugar. So we will be back when all the cookies are formed. Okay, so they're all formed, and if you see, you need a wide space. Oh. <laughs> you need a wide space because these cookies will spread out. So you need space in between them. If not, they'll all be. You'll have a big cookie pan sheet. Um, so we're going to bake these for eight to ten minutes, and the total recipe I got 44 cookies out of it, one, using a one tablespoon scoop. So if you want them smaller, if you want them bigger, but with one tablespoon, one tablespoon scoop, I got 44 cookies out of that batch. So I'll be back when these are done. So here you have the coquito cookies. But one thing you have to do, as soon as they're out of the oven, you have to let them cool completely. They taste totally different warm than they do at room temperature when they're all nice and cool. See, it has to be nice and brown, not too overly dark. And it gets like this because remember, we rolled it in sugar. So, yeah, look how beautiful. How they, it's crunchy on the outside and nice and chewy on the inside. On the inside, they're really good. You can taste actually the rum and the coconut and then at the end you get the cinnamon and the nutmeg so you know the drill if you like this video give it a thumbs up and after this if you haven't subscribed there's going to be a little box that says subscribe click on that buen provecho oh my goodness try it